and this is another edition of our tutorial on PowerPoint 365 2022. So in today's tutorial, we will help you see much you can benefit by using PowerPoint 2022. And we are going to see in this tutorial how we can work with Find, Replace, and Select. And I will show you in today's tutorial one of the beautiful things you can learn from PowerPoint 2022 when it comes to select. So we implore that if this is your first time of meeting us, that you subscribe, like, share this video. If you have been watching videos from this channel and you have not considered subscribing, we will encourage you today to do so. And if you like and share this video, much more persons will come to know of it. And even YouTube will be able to take it much closer to many persons. So what can you use find, go to, and most especially select for in PowerPoint and how best to use, I'm gonna explain. So now let's go. Now this is one of uh, a design PowerPoint already in place. So we will show you how you can make use of this feature. So what can we use find? When it comes to find, it helps you locate a particular word, sentence, or a phrase much faster in the entire PowerPoint slides. Instead of moving from slide to slide, searching for a particular word, if you know what you are in search for, you can use find to actually find or locate where each of the words can be found. Now to use find, let's see what we can do. Under home, Come to the right side of your ribbon, where you will see editing under editing group. You will see find as the first one. Click on it. Type the phrase to which you are looking for. PowerPoint presentation, we have been dealing with hospital related phrase. So when we search for hospital, you can see it has search. And within this particular slide, that's located where the hospital is. So we can search for more. You can keep searching. As you can see, it's moving from one slide to the other till it gets to the last of the phrase. So that is about find. But now let's use find alongside replace. So where you have replace here, as you can see in this box, there's a replace here. Or you could just come here and click on replace. You will see a particular screen like this. Where you have find what up there. And the second part of it is replace with. How do you use find and replace with? So in using replace, it helps you to exchange one phrase or word or a sentence with another. Take for example that you had the one to present a work like this. And when you meet someone who may be more knowledgeable in the field in order to guide or correct you, and he complain of a particular phrase that it's not the best, you have to have change it and use this other word. Searching for it one after the other could be cumbersome. So when using replace, it enables you with ease to replace this word with that which you want to. It reduces error and it actually makes the work very fast. All right, at this point, we are going to replace the word hospital with a word like medication. To do that, you already have hospital here. If you do not have, just quickly type it there. Coming down to replace with, quickly type what you want to replace it with. In this case, we are replacing with medication. After that, if you want to replace all at the same time, come to the bottom where you have replace all. Click on it. You can see that in three places was where we have the word hospital. And now it has been replaced with this other one called medications. So that is how you replace, no matter how many the phrase appears in the entire document, you can easily replace it one after the other within a second using this method. Now I'm going to where we may find it more interesting. How does select all work? In order for you to do that, click on a slide to which you want to use select all. After clicking, go to that place and click on that and when you click on select all, you can see it select all the text in a particular text box. So if you are interested in using that, you can do that. Obviously, many of us are familiar with using control A when it comes to that. 
But when it comes to select, there is much more than just selecting only the text. Some of the reasons we may need to use this, it could be that we actually want to do what we call group, so that the objects remain as one whenever people uses your work. When you are using select objects, it actually allows you to select things like ink, allows you to select shapes, allows you to select text area, and much more. So to use this, you come there and click on select. By so doing, you can easily get to select whatever you are interested in. Finally, we have come to the area in which I find it much more fascinating. It is called it is called selection pan. How do you use this? Let's see how it works. When you click on selection pan, it's what you have here. You can see show all or hide all. If I click on hide all, see what happened. We add the entire content of that particular slide. But if you click on show all, it actually brought back the slide to normal. But we are going to show you much more than that. In a particular slide, you may decide what should be visible and what should be invisible on a slide. To do that, in that same select pan, you can see that each of the objects that made up of this slide are spelled out here. You can say text box 5. So how do you know what is text box 5? Here you have a sign of an I. If I click on that, what happened? That means that text box was text box 5. That means the fifth text box has replaced it. So when you click on it, you may decide, okay, I don't want to see this at this point in time. I want to replace it with this other object. You can just click on that. In order to restore it, you will just click on it again. It comes back to normal. In case you want to lock that particular text box 5, you can click on this one and look, uh, have the sign of a key. When you click on it, this is what happened. You have locked it. Let me show you the difference. Can you see the way it is? Now, if I unlock it, this is what happened if I click. Do you see? But if I lock it, this is what happened. What that means is that I cannot delete that particular box, that particular text area. I can edit its content, but I cannot delete the text box. And you see, text box cannot be deleted, but the content can be deleted or we can work on its content. So that is how that works. It actually locked the text box of that particular slide, of that particular object, of that particular item to which you want to. That is applicable in these other ones. To know which one represents, you can see text box for. If you click on it, see what happened. Automatically, the advance of good dispensing environments disappear. So as you can see, there's so much we can benefit using the editing group when it comes to this. So if you have enjoyed the tutorial, make sure you subscribe, like, share this video as we bring you much more of this amazing tutorial in our subsequent tutorial.